matrix form and standard form. So this is just one lesson for module 6.3. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. All right, so there's our groovy common core strand. Uh, how can how can we um, how can we change the vertex form? I got an extra W in there. How can we change um, uh, the vertex form of a quadratic function to standard form? Okay. So uh, here's vertex form right here. Y equals A times X minus H quantity squared plus K. Do you remember that in the last lesson where the vertex is at H, K? And then so standard form is um, Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. So remember that in our last uh, test that we had on units uh, 4 and 5 or modules 4 and 5 where we had to, uh, several of your questions were to write your answers in standard form. So that just means in descending order. So your biggest power of X is and your next biggest power of X all the way down to your, your constant right there. Okay. All right. So here we go. So we're going to rewrite this in, in uh, standard form. So that means we're going to foil out the X minus six squared. Okay. So you can foil it out or you can remember that formula. It's X squared minus uh, twice the product of those two guys. I'm going to use that right there. So x squared minus twice the product of x and 6. And then remember, a negative times a negative is a positive 6 squared right there. Okay, and if all else fails, just foil it out, you guys. We get x times x is x squared. We get minus 6x. We get another minus 6x. That's why there's minus uh, two 6x's there because from our outers and inners. And then finally, a negative times a negative is a positive. Okay. Anyways, so there that is. Let's go put that back in the parentheses over here. And now we'll distribute the 4 through. Okay, so there that is. Okay, and then uh, clean it up and then combine uh, 144 plus 3 is 147. So there you go. It's that easy. All right, you try it with this guy right here. Okay, say so foil that out so we get that right there and distribute that 3 through and combine like terms. And there you go. All right, so oops, one more. So let's go ahead and foil that out and distribute distribute the negative 5 through and then uh, combine like terms. I know I'm going fast, but I think you know what's going on right there. All right, so here we have, uh, we're going to be given a table and we're going to write it first in in, uh, in vertex form and then rewrite it just like we did in standard form. Okay, so here's the table. All right, so remember um, these graph parabolas, you guys, and parabolas are symmetrical. So can you see a 9 here and a 9 here and a 1 here and a 1 here? So this must be our vertex right there. Okay, so it's symmetrical with respect to our vertex. Here's H. K. Okay, so negative 3, 0 is HK. So putting that in vertex form, uh, so it's going to be X minus this negative 3, which becomes X plus 3, and we don't need that 0 there, okay? And then um, uh, we need to get A, you guys, so we can substitute in either negative 6, ne uh, 9, negative 4, 1, negative, th well, we can't do negative 3, 0 because we already have that right here. Or we can do negative 2, 1, or 0, 9. Substitute any of those in there, okay? I'm going to choose the 0. 0 is easy to work with. Just remember that that's X and that's Y right there, okay? All right, so 0 plus 3 is 3, and then we're going to square that. So we get 3 squared is 9. So 9A equals 9, or A equals 1. So there's our equation right there. All right, here's another one right here. Whoops, in standard form. Sorry, you guys, I forgot to do that because it said to rewrite it also in standard form. Duh. All right. Uh, anyway, so x uh, plus 3 foiled out is x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay. In the next module, um, uh, module 7, I think it's in, you guys, I think, uh, we're going to take this answer and put it back to this answer here. But that's uh, not till module 7. We'll talk more about that there. Okay. So here's a table again, you guys. And, and again, um, sometimes the vertex is not right in the middle. Okay. So what you got to do, and it is on these ones here, you guys, but sometimes it's not right in the middle. And so you got to find the symmetry. Where is it symmetrical? And then it's in the middle of the symmetry stuff. Okay, so 13 here, 13 here, and then 1 and 1. So this is the vertex right here, negative 2 comma negative 3. That is HK. So there we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and X minus a minus 2 is going to be X plus 2. Now we got to substitute in any one of these points. I'm going to pick this one right here because I like the zeros right there. Okay, remember this is y and this is x. Okay, so 0 plus 2 is 2, so 2 squared is 4. So we have uh, 13 equals um, 4a minus 3. Add 3 to both sides. 
divided by 4, we get a equals 4. So there it is in, um, uh, whoops, I did two things at once. There it is in vertex form, and then I'm going to convert it to standard form over here, okay? So now we'll distribute this x or this 4 through, and then combine like terms, and, uh, and we get that. So here it is in vertex form. Here it is in standard form right there, okay? All right, and then in the next module, we're going to learn how to take this answer and convert it back to vertex form, but that's not until module 7, I think, anyways. All right, so use each graph to find an equation for f of t. f of t is just like f of x, except uh, this is t right here. They put x right there, but it's actually t, so t standing for time in seconds right here. And then F, they should have done H of T, so it'll be four, so it's the height with respect to time. But they did F of T, I don't know why. Anyway, so here's a house painter standing on a ladder and he drops a paintbrush. You're going to see this function happen a lot, you guys. These numbers change, but you'll see some consistency, okay? Drops a paintbrush from the height above at 25 feet above the ground right there. And it's given by F of T equals A times X minus H um, squared, where T is time in seconds after the paintbrush is dropped. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and write an equation. There's HK up there, okay? So... This is X and this is Y right here. So here we go. Put it in uh, HK form. So here's F of X equals A times um, uh, X minus H squared plus K, except uh, X is T right there and F of X is F of T. They want us to do this F of T stuff right here and they told us to put it right here. I should have put a, a T right there, okay? So let's do that right there and pretend like that had a T there the whole time, all right? Okay, anyways, you guys, so let's go ahead and and uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put in 0, 25 right there. So when we do that, uh, we get uh, that right there. And then uh, so f of t equals a t squared plus 25. Okay, now we'll substitute in that known point right there, 1, 9. Remember, this is x and this is y. So here's our y is 9, and then put the x in there. Okay, clean it up. We get a equals negative 16. You'll find out it's always negative 16, or most of the time, unless it's in meters per second. If it's in meters per second, then it's going to be, I think it's negative 3.2 or something like that. I forgot. Something about physics, as I mumble to myself. There's the answer right there, okay? All right, let's try another one here. So here a nail is dropped. There's a big fatty word problem that went with this. I just kept it out. So same kind of thing. So up here at 0, 45, here's HK. So you'll find, uh, plug that in, and we get that, and we plug in the next point right there. Solve for A. We get, hey, look, negative 16 again. And then there's our equation right there. All right, you guys, if you are in our class, that would be your assignment. Take care.